Hello everyone, Jeff Rudd here. Currently in the USA, the Democrats, the rival party to the Republicans in the USA, are trying to impeach Donald Trump. This has to do with the supply of military equipment that was supposed to go to the Ukraine country, but was held up for a period of time while Donald Trump allegedly was trying to force the country's leader into reopening an investigation into Joe Biden, Vice President on, with Obama, and Joe Biden's son. Previously, for the record, there had been a number of investigations by the State Department USA and by the U a previous Ukraine government into Joe Biden and his son, but couldn't find anything to actually find them guilty of or even have them arrested on or charged. But this didn't stop Donald Trump from wanting to find something on them. He's in public statements saying this from his White House lawn and he's indicated across his Twitter rants. So when the supply of weapons came down to be given to the Ukraine in a matter of weeks or days, the president then decided it's alleged that it would be held up until the man gave confirmation that a reinvestigation would be opened. The, the Democrats' view of this is that Mr. Donald Trump was trying to do this out of personal reasons rather than for the goodness of the country. The Republicans claim that he, the president, was right to call for an investigation into any matter that might affect the country. So the case centers around whether the, the, the called for investigation was actually going to happen for the goodness of the country or was it to just see that a future 2020 political rival was undermined and tarnished by his son's antics. Over the course of the last week, the Republicans and the Democrats had in front of them, in, in what was equivalent to an American form of inquiry, a number of people centred around Donald Trump. Some were very well known to Donald Trump, although he denied this, and some were not known then to him at all, and that can be easily stated. We had an ambassador who worked under five different presidents, we had a, a high-ranking lieutenant general who also worked under a number of presidents, each of them in their own way serving their country for many, many decades. Each of them testified to what they knew. Each of them stated that as far as they knew, the investigation was supposed to be restarted on the condition that the Bidens were personally investigated and not just the company that they were connected to. Each were convinced that the supply of military hardware was supposed to remain paused until there was confirmation that a reinvestigation of the Bidens was to happen. Now, whether you're a Democrat supporter or a Republican supporter, the number of people that were called up before the group to, in holding this inquiry, the people that were called up were completely and utterly loyal to their country. There's very few that can call this into question. However, in order for what they were saying to be rubbished and they couldn't deny the evidence that they were actually giving, the Republicans unfortunately decided to do character assassinations on every one of them. Even though every one of them had actually served under many, many different presidents, Republican presidents and Democratic presidents. And regardless of their own political views, they served them loyally. But the character assassinations continued. 
Then after that, there was a number of people called up who overheard Donald Trump on the phone stating that he wanted the Bidens investigated personally. So that's where the evidence sent us around. There was one or two other people that came on the inquiry uh, group to state what they also knew in surrounding information in regards to the supply of the weapons to the country, Ukraine. I'm not a person that likes either the Republican Party or the Democratic Party in the USA. Both of them, in their own terms of office, have been absolutely guilty of war crimes, to say the least. Besides many other policies which each holds that, quite frankly, I consider irreprehensible. Just terrible. If I was an American, hell would freeze over before I'd vote for either one of them. So, disregarding the many other aspects surrounding Donald Trump, and there is many, or I think it's now about six to ten thousand registered lies that he's told since he took office and his sexism comments and his actual physical behaviour sometimes and his absolute twitter rants etc leaving all that aside the question for the American public is did Donald Trump try and get an investigation restarted just so a political rival could be attacked did Donald Trump try and get a foreign country to try and attack a USA citizen for personal reasons? And that is the core of what's going on currently in America. My own view? Yes, he did. I've listened to much of the testimony of many of the people that were hauled up in front of the investigating group. And... Genuinely, I can say with hand on my heart, these were people that were loyally serving their country for decades. They had no reason to lie, and certainly they did not want to be there, they had to be subpoenaed. But when they were there, they swore to tell the truth, and as far as I could tell, in my own opinion, they were genuinely telling the truth and sticking to it as much as they could. So, the matter still drags on. What it boils to now is down to now is this: the, the impeachment process will continue, and eventually there will be a vote in both the, the Senate and Congress. The Democrats hold a majority number in the USA Congress. The Republicans hold a majority in the Senate. The process forced will go to the House of Congress in the USA for a vote where it will be passed by a majority vote and then it will eventually proceed to the Senate in the USA. Unfortunately, because the Republicans hold the majority there, then the Democratic Party have an uphill struggle to progress. So right now, and between now and that period of time when the vote goes to the Senate, The Democrats are trying to convince enough Republicans to switch sides. Will it happen? It's in the laps of the gods and they face a major uphill battle. But it is still possible. Do I think Donald Trump will eventually be impeached? I think, looking at percentage-wise, the chances are that he won't. And there's about a 70-30% to chance, one way or the other. But I don't think he will eventually be fully, legally impeached. He will be rubbished through the through one house, but not through the other. And that, eventually that will be the end of it. And in the run-up to the 2020 elections in the USA, it will just be more door-to-throwing. There is one other thing that Donald Trump is not doing in his favour. He is withholding masses of evidence. We're talking about thousands of documents that are available. We're talking about witnesses that would be able to testify to any investigation group what they saw, what they said, or what they didn't see or say. 
These include his own lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, who is also accused of doing various things questionable, and other surrounding people of Donald Trump. And Donald Trump won't allow them to testify. They could testify and say, yes, Donald Trump never said this and never said that at all. But Donald won't release them in order for them to testify and he won't release release many documents. This was done by him to try and protect himself. But in fact, it's coming back to backlash against him because many people are asking, why? What if they got to hide? If, you know, if they're not willing to be allowed to even stand up for him. So the, pro- so the process rolls on until it eventually will burn out one way or the other. Because I don't think Donald Trump will be impeached. Some people, a few, have asked me why is Jeff Rudd so interested in this topic. The truth is that Donald Trump, to state the obvious, is the President of America. And because of that, he's able to push a number of certain policies. A good number of these policies revolves around trade. And currently still ongoing is a number of trade negotiations. Some of which are happening behind closed doors and some halfway between closed doors and full exposure. A number of these deals in no way will be beneficial to Ireland. Donald Trump, as a president, regardless of everything else, is looking after his own country first. That's fair enough. Any Irish president, any Irish elected, would do the same for their own country. But the outcome will be of a Donald Trump foreign trade agreement is that Ireland will be badly hit. We've already seen this over Irish farming of meat etc the knock on effect of other countries making trade deals which will be not beneficial to Ireland are an important thing to watch and it's just as important as to who's actually trying to bring them about so what happens in America does in effect have an effect on Ireland and that's one of the main reasons why I'm currently still watching what's going on in the USA Besides the fact that it's more interesting than any soap that's on the television at the moment. You couldn't make this stuff up that's going on. And that's just the USA. Never mind their own bunch. So I stated the previous for the record. That's why I'm currently watching what's going on. Now let me be very clear. It's my opinion, my own opinion, which you're free to knock, that the Democrats most definitely are trying to impeach Donald Trump for their own political reasons alone. They know they face a battle in 2020 presidential-wise. So they're using this current process ongoing as a stick to beat Donald Trump up now and during those 2020 elections. Donald Trump is not helping himself by doing what he's doing. He hasn't helped himself in the previous months and year or two of his period in office. So there's no winners here in regards to efforts being made by both sides. Both have their own reasons for doing what they are doing while they each hold an elected position. Both are trying to gain personally. Both do have some sort of genuine reason for doing some of the stuff they are doing. The nub, the core, the centre of the argument currently is, is a person guilty doing what they are doing because it's for just personal reasons or is it for the goodness of their own state? Anyway, I hope my little rant on what's going on in America at the moment helps to clear up one or two things. Like I said, You're open to criticise, you're open to comment, you're open to agree or disagree. Please do so. Thanks for listening. This is Jeff Rudd signing off.